Hello, good afternoon. I am back. Lutra FM. All in red today. Adidas tracksuit jacket there. I was just wearing a vest. If I was honest, I'd just come back from the gym. No one wants to see me in a vest, trust me. I don't even know why my girlfriend wants to see me in a vest, but yeah, she loves me for me, so there you go. Anyway, yeah, where you left us off last, we finished the season, we got it done. We managed to get promoted, so yes, yes, yes to us. This is where the real hard work comes in. We are now in a better league with stronger teams and we've also got teams relegated from league up league one so it's not going to be as easy it will be interesting to see how our, i don't expect all of them to make the step up so sadly we might have to let go of a few of my favorites a few maybe maybe a few of your favorites but we'll see we've just got to see how it goes really but yeah thank you as always thank you to everyone that's been watching the episode so far Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. And thank you for liking the videos. I hope you like the... So basically the new format I'm doing now is I'm going to do the full version, which is unedited, where I just plonk all the bits together. And then the edited version, I've used this AI editor to edit it basically and get rid of all the silences and things like that. So whether that's a thing that you like, I don't know. You might find it annoying that it keeps cutting out and stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments section if the edited versions are not very good. It will save me money in the long run so I won't use the AI editor and I'll just go back to what I was doing before. If you prefer the edited versions than the long versions, let me know. There's an audience for everything. So some might like the full version, some might like the edited version. But yeah, just let me know either way and all that. Like. But yeah, thank you to the person. I can't remember his username now, but I'm, I apologize, buddy. But thank you for leaving a nice comment on the latest video i really appreciate it but yeah right so we'll be back with our first part of the video in a second right so here we are and now we're going to start is do a season summary so far well season summary for us for the french leagues and then look at the other leagues like england see who won the premiership see who won the spanish league Serie A, etc etc so but yeah first things first we've just got to do a little summary here so our top goal scorer was Kofi, as expected, with, he said, 20 league goals. Oh, 20 goals altogether, actually. So, yeah, and then he also got the highest average rating as well. And then Matteo Pizzard, who got the most assists. Brilliant debut season. Well, I say debut season. He has been here for a while, but he most he played once a couple of years ago, then played for the reserves. And then this season, he's been an integral part of the team. And there's a few clubs after him, so I'm going to get him to sign a new contract. In fact, who's after him? Grenoble are after him. Well, you can whistle Grenoble because we're not giving you him. Best, best pass completion was at Matthew Hatulet. Most player of the match awards with seven was Kofi. Most yellow cards was Vidard with six. Most red cards was Fontaine with just the one, so that was nice. We only had one or two players with red cards this season, so that's good. Let's just go through this and then have a look at the rest of the squad, like so. We'll do playing selection info. There we go. No, actually, this one. So, yeah, Kofi, that was really good this season. Drame, I mean, look how many players we've got on over seven average rate. Rubinho was probably the young player of the season, I reckon, personally, whether he will get that when we do the season's awards, I don't know. But, yeah, so the, there might be a lot of little bits in this video today because of it, the fact that it's, it's the end of the season so i'll do the summary here and then i'll skip forward a few days to get the end of the season summary and then show you that as well and then we'll skip forward ahead a few weeks and stuff like that really obviously it's not pre-season and, and that's not going to be very it's going to be quite quick because i'm not i'm not buying anybody so it's just going to be a process of taking it week by week, trying to keep our best players, especially these young players like Rubinho. I mean, luckily nobody's after him at the moment. He's under contract for the next three years. So we, we've we got him for at least a couple of years yet. What will happen to him afterwards, I don't know. But I do think he'll make the step up next season. And I think he'll only get better. The league table for this season. We were champions. We only won the title by three points. FC Ruin was second. It was mostly all league. They were top or second for most of the season, and then they just completely... But you've got some strong teams in this league. You've got Dijon, you've got Neo, Nims, Nancy, all former and Red Star as well, the Mans. Some of these are League One teams not that long ago. So it was. it's not as easy as the league as we thought, but we 
we managed to do we managed to get there in the end and then if we look at league two the the, the league that we're coming into this season next season sorry Gamp got promoted sorry with the champions saint Antonio were promoted angers are playing paris fc in the playoffs so one of them will go up Bordeaux unfortunately didn't go up so that doesn't bode well for us so we're gonna have Bordeaux, angers or paris fc to contend with we've got a jesse O'Kayan, sorry bastia amians Troyes, all strong teams that used to play in league. Oh, I'm surprised by them. Valencians and Laval got relegated. Oh, so Baldo potentially... Oh, no, no. Lorient did win the playoff. So Lorient stay up. Lyon got relegated. Oh, my God. I'm shocked by that. I mean, I know that they're, they're not exactly doing well at the moment in real life, but to get relegated, that is... So they're going to be favourites to win league, league 2. Yeah, it is pronounced League, isn't it? Lyeg 2? I don't know. Anyway, the French second division, we'll call it. And then Strasbourg as well, which is another surprise because they're owned by the, the owners of Chelsea. So the fact that they spend that much money, let's have a look. The history, they spent 45 million. I mean, granted, they sold 52 million worth of players. I think it was football managed 2022. It wasn't that long ago, but yeah. So they, they signed a few good players, but they did sell a lot as well. So I'm um, surprised by them. More surprised. I'm absolutely shocked about Leon. So yeah, so these two are going to be the favourites to go up. So let's have a look at League 2. I don't think we're going to be anywhere near the playoffs. I'll have a look at the season expectations in a second. But yeah, so you're going to have Strasbourg, Leon, one of Angers or Paris FC. That's like four or five teams that are way better than us already. And then you've got all these other teams here. So I think realistically, if we look at club vision, we do, they just want us to avoid relegation from League 2. So and then become an established League 2 team, record a League 2 top finish. So they just want us to basically just, just keep progressing and just get a little bit better. But next season is just to basically just stay up. So, which I think we can do. I think there's teams worse than us, I hope. But we'll see. But yeah. And then, right, so let's have a look at England first. Oh no, I clicked on something else. Hold on, sorry. England. Right, let's look at the championship first. Let's see who's... Oh, okay, they, we haven't got the... Championship loaded, but hold on, it does tell us so. Leeds won, Coventry go up as well, which is good for I think Ipswich went up as well through the playoffs by the looks of it. All right, so Man City won the lead, which is usually expected. Liverpool second, Arsenal third, Man United fourth, Tottenham fifth, and then Chelsea sixth, Newcastle rounded up with seven, Villa eighth. So it's basically what you would probably expect in real life, really. Any shocks? No real shocks in the to teams getting relegated. So Haaland was the Top goal scorer. This is quite funny. Nunes with 17 goals. Can't score to save his life in real life. Unless I'm, I've got that completely wrong. But I'm basing it on what I've seen with recent comments from Liverpool fans. They don't, they've don't. had enough of them. And then, right, scroll down a bit. We're done France, Germany. Let's have a look at the German league, league table. Bayern Munich won as usual. Absolutely dominated this season. Harry Kane, as expected, was top goal scorer, but he only just done it. Philip Hoffman was runner-up, and then Tim Ferdinand. But Bayern Munich, as you can see, just very dominant. Leroy Sane, Kingsley Coman, which makes you think that Leverkusen's season was way more probably amazing than you think about it, really, because Bayern Munich, really, they win it every year, don't they, near enough. Bottom surprise team in Bundesliga, third place. Stuttgart, again, another team surprising. Got four, and then Red Bull and Bakuzin round out the European place. Any shocks in the relegation? Half and half probably is a bit of a shock, really, when you think about it. They've been quite good all round. Right, I think all right, Italy next. Let's have a look. Italy, Serie A. So Inter Milan won the Serie A. They were 11 points clear of second place. Rivals Milan. Napoli third. Lazio four. Roma fifth. Juventus sixth. Scott Juventus on the downslider. Round up the European places. And then relegation, teams relegated, Caligari, Empoli and Genoa. Taro, like Martinez, was the top goal scorer. Right, last one. Let's have a look at Spain. Oh, no, I did something wrong there. Come on, yeah. Spain. Right, so Real Madrid won the Liga. Villarreal was second. Atletico Madrid third. Verona fourth. So that's nice to see that they, they, they've improved. They've done well in FM as they jump. In real life, I think they're still top of the Spanish league. I could be wrong on that one. And then you've got, so, God, they've got a lot of teams in Europe, haven't they? Eight teams, up to eight teams. Oh, look at that, Real Fair Play team. 
I had a really interesting save with them many years, a couple of years ago. Teams relegated last Palma, Granada and Oceana. Vinicius Junior was the top goal scorer, followed by Griezmann and then Rodrigo. And Jude Bellingham was the overall best player with the 7.59. I'm just going to have a look for a laugh just to see if there's any difference in, in the Scottish League. I'm assuming it'll be Celtic, won it? Yeah, Celtic, won it? Rangers. So there you go. Right, actually, one last thing. Let's have a look and see who won the Champions League. If I can remember how to do this. There we go, Champions League. So, oh, bloody hell, Newcastle went to the final of the Champions League. Got to the final of the Champions League, losing to Barcelona 2-1. Up the semis, Newcastle beating Real Madrid 3-2. Bloody hell. Who did they beat before that? Where are they? Atletico Madrid on penalties. So, they had three Spanish teams in the... They had the Spanish team in the quarterfinals, Spanish team in the semis, and then they come and stuck just in the final. Imagine if they won that, dominating the Spanish League. Let's have a look at this. Well, there you go, Bruno got sent off. Barcelona, it took a while for them to score though, and Pedri. But fair play to Newcastle getting to the final of that in their first season in the Champions League on this game. So uh, yeah, Barcelona winning the Champions League for the first time in eight years, nine years, I think, nine years. Right, well that's the season summary done for now, and then I'll be back in a sec with the our actual season review. So we're back. So basically, I didn't get a season review so i don't know who my fans player of the year is i don't know who the young player of the year is or anything like that weirdly i don't know why it didn't come up so i've just fast forwarded it as up until the first game of the season i'll just give you a little summary of transfers obviously we haven't signed any oh i'll catch in that yeah that's fine there we go just click on that right yeah so i'll just give you a little summary obviously no players bought we we sold a goalkeeper, we had a decent offer for him. He's 31 years old. He is good, but he didn't really play much when we had that goalkeeper, Patelet. But he went as well because he went back to his parent club, which is Lyon. So we're going to have some new goal. We've got new goalkeepers for this season from our youth team and our reserves. They are going to be the new first team goalkeepers for us. We've loaned, we've got rid of a few players and then we also loaned one of our talented youngsters, Pelle. and then I just need to go back slightly. And we sold Makalu and Desa we sent Mwemba on loan because he that we had a loan offer for him. We rejected it because obviously I was planning to play him. He kicked off, so I sent him on loan. And then Lacoya went as well. Obviously Zolt. Let's see how Zolt went. Did let's see how he did in the end. I had nine games, got one assist, one goal. Mm, looking amazing, so we probably didn't lose much on that one but that's about it really so yeah that's that's as it, like i said the season summary isn't very long because we're not buying anybody so it makes it a lot easier to get through pre-season so we just i just basically got through oh let me show you pre-season before we kick off the next game and where are you schedule so we only won one game in pre-season we lost them we lost the cent 4-0 which is not giving me much hope for a good season this season. We lost 3-1 to Nice. And we kick off the season with a game versus... And then we've got Cayenne, Bordeaux, Ruin, Bastia and Strasbourg. Can only, I don't think we're going to be... I think we're going to get thrashed by Bordeaux and Strasbourg. We might be able to get a point against Bastia or Cayenne. We should be able to beat FC Ruin. But then again, anything can happen. God knows how we're going to do against... But we will see. So here's our lineup for the first game of the season. We've got... This player here called Charlie Dosso. And we're allowed more substitutions in this league, which is really good. Helps us out greatly. So they've only been able to pick five players. We've got seven players to pick. I can't I don't know how many substitutes you can make in the in this league. In League Two, I can't remember, but I'll soon find out. So here's our lineup. Dosser in goal, Galvez is right back, and Fontaine in centre defence. Bastian is left back, Viltard and Drami in centre midfield. Oh yeah, this player here who was on loan, Getian. Why is back? He was on loan last season with Bordeaux. He got three goals and four assists in 32 games for them. He's come back to us. So he is now first team right winger, I think, by the looks of it. And then we've got Pizard on the left, Fatara up front with Kofi. So interesting game to kick off against. We'll see how we get on. Oh, sugar. I forgot to do one thing before we start the game. Let me have a look at the season review. Preview, sorry. So we're meant to be 13th. That's where we stand. So we we should beat Bastia then because they are odds. They've got bigger odds than us to do well in this. But yeah, as, you, as I predicted, Leon and Strasbourg are the favourites. Troy is a third. Angers a fourth. Bordeaux's fifth. I'm surprised that Bordeaux's only fifth. I thought they'd be higher. Strasbourg and Leon players. I don't think there's anybody else. If any of our players meant to be key players here, that's it. Wisebeck. 
Okay. Right, let's get back to the game. Sorry about that. Right, first highlight of the game. Bastion with the throw in to Bazard. Bazard loses the ball though. Oh, get it back though. Headed by Fontaine. Drame, beautiful little pass. Weisbeck, let's see what he can do. Good little pass. Oh, Luffy, unfortunately, skied it over the bar. But interesting start. Oh, we've already got an injury. Fatal's injured, so Rubino Vaz is thrown in there. Let's see what he can do. Oh, and we've got another injury. We've got a goalkeeper injury. Oh, that's great. That's what we want. Not the best news. Our first new team, our, fir our new first team goalkeeper gets injured in the first game. God knows how long for. At least we've got Popper. We have got quite a few goalkeepers in the reserves and new team, luckily. But yeah, having to make two substitutions already in the first half is not good. Oh, balls, I pressed the wrong thing then. I shall be moving to my girlfriend's in about a month's time. So I will have a different layout. You won't just see this backdrop and then my this wall might look a bit more presentable i'm also going to start going hopefully going to some local football in the area there's a team called cabri's cabri sorry cabri athletic and they have they they use this they are in this just google cabri athletic athletics ground it, it just has this unique little building in the middle of the, by the ground and as part of the ground sorry it looks very nice i've me and my girlfriend's drove past it a few times and it's, it's like I said, it's just such a beautiful building. And I've just thought to myself, I'm going to go there. And it's only about an hour walk, so I can walk to the game, get the bus back, I suppose. So, yeah, something to look forward to. But, yeah. Also, I'm hoping you're liking the small clips I'm putting on YouTube shorts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Would appreciate it. It's a few of them have gone have gone really well. Not bad. Nil-nil. Not bad for first game of the season. Oh, God. He's out for five to seven weeks. Means I've got to look at promoting somebody else from the right. I need to first of all, I need to do this. So we've got one goalkeeper pop off. Right, so let's just let's look at the second team first. Let's just promote somebody from there. Promote him, and we'll also promote him as well. Right, and then that's that. So we've got one one goalkeeper left in the reserves, but it's fine. We need to concentrate on the first team more than the second team at the moment. We can always put them back once our other goalies are back. So yeah, right. When's the next game? Okay, so what I'll do then is, obviously, as always, come back and you'll see the next game. Right, we're back and we've got our lineup for the next game. We are playing Hain or Hain. I don't know how you pronounce that name. Well, no, I don't know. Sayin? Sayin? Because there's a C, not a K. But I think you pronounce it as a K, don't you? K? Oh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section, please. I need to learn better. And what I want to try and do is learn French better how you pronounce things i need to go into google translate or something and figure out how you pronounce it right so here's our lineup poplov so popov sorry we've got two we've got a second new goalkeeper of the season in the second game of the season so going well galvez is right back diagonal fontaine center defense bastion on the left as usual drama and viltard in the center of midfield weisbeck and pizard Plaitar and Kofi. So pretty much unchanged team other than the goalie. Playing at home as well, so hopefully the home advantage will help us. First highlight goes to us already, which is good. Oh, this could be interesting. I think I was slightly in the box, but I, I, we'll see. We've got a VAR in this league. Yes, get in. Kofi with the uh, with his first goal of the season. A well-placed penalty, if I've ever seen one nil up. That's good to see. Nice bit of passing going on. We look confident in this game. Weisbeck looks like a really good player, to be honest. The tech is on them. Oh, still 1-0. Five shots on. One on target. 1.2. 1.46 now. XG. Playing it out from the back here. Fontaine. Very calmly with the ball. Passes it to Drame. Drame now. Looks across. Gives it to Kofi. Oh, good save by the goalie. Weisbeck trying to keep the goal. Trying to catch the goalie off there. Weis Weisbeck with the corner. Loops it over. Saved by the goalie there. Corner to us. Look at that. I was a bullet of a header. That was Kofi with his second goal. Of the game, second goal of the season, aiming for it, looking for a hat trick by the looks of it. Fontaine, oh, what a ball by Fatar to Kofi Galvez, gives it to Viltar. Viltar spins across. Oh, bizarre, just over there, right? Annoyingly, oh no, I thought Kofi had to come off then. Had to come off, we've put Vaz on. Vaz with the ball now, passes it to Drame, doing with an over the top ball to Bazaar, keeps the, the ball in possession, looks for the inside pass to Drame, one two with the ball, well, there you go, one two's going on there. Baz back to Pizard. Pizard with the shot. Get in. What a convincing win. I wasn't expecting this. 3-0 11 shots, 5 on target. 1.88 XG. Baz already contributing to the game with the assist. Just over by the opposition there. Could the Vaz for a better first team. First half performance by my lads. Corner. Ooh, just headed past the post there. Right, we're currently second now. God knows if that's going to last. Right, Pizard's injured. 
So, yeah, Deo, he hasn't been in the team for ages. He, uh, he toiled off a bit at the end of last season. He got replaced by Passard and uh, couldn't get back in the team. Get in. Kofi with his hat trick. Kofi was fourth choice to be top goal scorer for the season, according to the odds makers. So, uh, he's doing well to prove them wrong at the moment. Hopefully, we can keep a clean sheet here. That'll give great confidence to the new goalie, pop off. Oh, look at that. Get in. That's what we like to see. Both of our strikers scoring. That's also showing that he can make the step up. Beck is knackered by the looks of it. We can't take him off. Oh, good save, pop off. Right, they've got a free kick. They're trying to, uh, for some reason, they're trying to get back into this game. I think it's a little bit too late for that. That was a beautiful pass, though. Why don't more people do that type of free kick? I don't, I don't understand. Just do a through ball to one of your players and he runs on to it. Good save. Get in, pop off. All right, I'm just going to give some praise here. There we go. Right, head of that out. Get in. That's all right. That's what we want to see. Keep that clean sheet alive. Absolute dominating performance there. I was not expecting that. Great result. Hold on, Passard. Injured. Oh, he's not injured for long. It's all right. Give Kofi some much-needed praise. Right then, what I'm going to do then is call it a day for this one. And then what I'll do is actually call it a day for this episode. And then I'm just going to, sorry, this is not very professional video editing by me, just leaving this in. There we go. Just moving me across there. Hello, Baxter. Baxter's woken up a little bit. There he is, by the way, my beautiful boy. Just a little side story before I go. Baxter met another little dashund who was about the same age as him. And they literally fell in love with each other. They were playing for at least 10 minutes non-stop. And they both literally were whimpering and crying when they when we both decided, well, the woman that had this dog, she had to get on the bus. And they were both whimpering and crying, bless them. It was so sweet. I got the video recorded. I recorded a couple of minutes of them and showed it to my girlfriend. She just thought it was the cutest thing ever. They were just so happy playing with each other. Because unfortunately, Baxter, he's a little dog and it just seems to scare other dogs. Especially older dogs, they don't want to know. So it's just a bit sad. I just want Baxter to have a little... If I had the money, I'd get another little Dashen so he could have a little mate to play with. But it's not to be. But anyway, right. Enough of getting sidetracked by real life. Thank you as always. And I'll be back next week with some more FC Socio Youth Only Rise of the Lions goodness. In the meantime, I will be posting short videos, highlights and stuff like that. So feel free to give them a watch if you don't mind. And as always, feel free to subscribe, like the videos and leave a comment. It's all appreciated. It all helps me in the grand scheme of things. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and all the best. Bye.